Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Minotaur Zombie Let's Play of Terranigma, as you can tell by the title. Um, I'll let the intro play out here. Um, this will be a blind Let's Play. Um, never played Terranigma before. The planet possesses souls. External face and an internal face. So yeah, uh, people like to refer to this game as the last in the Gaia Trilogy. Um, kind of an, not official sequels, but they share a lot of the same themes, like light and dark, reclaiming the world. Um, I did a Let's Play on the first one, Soul Blazer, and I have played and beaten Delusion of Guy. I haven't done a Let's Play on that. Um, if that's something you guys want to see, uh, let me know, and I might do it in the future. But, uh, this is, this is an interesting one, because people very much consider this to be an amazing game for the uh, Super Nintendo, but it never came out here in the States. This is actually uh, a, a, the European version of the game, PAL, so I haven't done it yet because it was kind of hard for me to get it uh, recording right. I, I didn't know what settings to do, but I finally figured it out. Light side wills intelligent beings. Dark side always makes just generic monsters. I like how a boat is like, that's that's the prime intelligence right there, it's like, you can make a boat. Okay, no, th that actually looks like an airplane. Never mind. So yeah, um, this is the what people refer to as the last in the unofficial trilogy thing from Quintet, published by Enix. And uh, only released in Japan and Europe, not in the States. Called God and Devil. Yeah, that sounds about right. What is this, Chrono Trigger? Goddamn clock. I'm half expecting the Epoch to swoop by now. Oh, never mind, the clock just falls apart. <gasps> A new hour in the day? Madness! Who go who has thirteen who has twenty six hours in a day? Unless this is like Persona 3 or something, and there's an extra hour, but that's just madness. Hell yeah, and I believe this game was released fairly towards fairly towards the end of the Super Nintendo's life cycle. So, let's see. Holy shit, 1996. This is damn near one of the last games for the console, I think. It's a pretty bitchin' title screen, if I do say so myself. All right. New game. Oh, we got a default name for once. We'll go with Ark. Noah built that Ark. There's also a lot of, like, religious references in these games and stuff, too, which was very unusual at the time for Nintendo. Nintendo still doesn't like religious references. I believe that's what's keeping, like, Binding of Isaac from being released on the 3DS and that kind of stuff. So, uh, N Nintendo hates it. <laughs> it censors the shit out of that kind of stuff. The outset. Like any RPG of the Super Nintendo era, you start up... You start by someone waking you up. Are you alright? You look like you were having a nightmare. You have these strange dreams, man. Uh, you should get that checked out. You should quit playing those video games. <gasps> Crystal Blue is in the air. C Crystal Blue Persuasion? Crystal Blue Persuasion. Wait. Well, I think we've already figured out the problem with this town. They're, they're all just getting high off of the Crystal Blue meth from Breaking Bad. And that it is our job to rid it. It is now about stopping criminals. Ooh. What's the journal? Oh, okay, that's save. We can save. <laughs> I like that save sound. One saved. We gotta jump. We got... X does nothing. Y runs. And A seems to be interact. Oh, nice! I can just tap Y and I keep running. Cause... Oh, never mind. That's, that's like... Uh, it's so hard to like hit, like, Super Nintendo controller style, like, Y is run, and A is confirm, 
So it's really hard to like run and confirm at the same time. I gotta do like the Holy shit, I can <laughs> That's awesome! Especially that they actually reacted to it. The hot couple, hell yeah. She woke me up, but she didn't get in the bed. Crystal blue are the tears of the outside world. Yeah, uh, he's probably just taking a little bit too much crystal blue, honestly. Boom! Oh. How dare you! No, I need to eat! I mean, that pot is like bubbling over. You clearly have enough for everyone. Oh, sh- Wow! I already like this game, like how they actually react to you doing things. Yeah, I guess I can check out the crystal blue. I don't know if people go blind from it, but... God damn, I love how I can throw shit at people. You should be ashamed. Ruined everything. Oh shit, I'm an asshole. But over at that door, you know... The one that the Elder said we mustn't open. When you go past it, I get this spooky feeling. As if someone's calling my name. Holy shit! The Elder has a sex dungeon? Someone should probably go in there. First I'm gonna loot your shit. You meddler. <laughs> okay, then I'll just go to the front. You bastard. Ruined all the weavings. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Can I steal your treasure first? God damn it. I bet now that I tried to open them, I won't be able to get them later. I don't trust this elder at all. Not when he has that creepy dungeon there. Holy shit, is that the crystal blue persuasion? The bubbles? That's pretty cool. Sometimes I've seen what looks like a town in this pool. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's one of those games where if you press a direction, it skips to the next dialogue. Come play with us! Nah, I gotta go apologize for rousting the chickens, apparently. Okay, pause. There doesn't seem to be a menu of any kind. I taught them to do that? That sound that actually does sound like me. I can't even deny. Everyone turns to ice. Ah. That's that's pretty crazy. Because crystal blue Man, this crystal blue really fucks with people. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to throw more vases at people. That's fun. God damn it, no, I better run away. I can't wait to see what perilous things happen to this very cheery town. It's it's a Super Nintendo semi-RPG, so clearly this happy-go-lucky town will be blown up. I'm sorry. If you understand, it's alright. I suppose... Now, can I go chase more chickens? I'm sorry, girlfriend lady. Alright. Oh god, they got sweatshop workers. What kind of town is this? What am I doing? I'm making 10 cents an hour. Alright, well, everyone out! Ugh, oh, it! they actually didn't react. They have a basement. Ooh. Whoa. Just jumped off their goddamn house. Hey, 
Hell yeah! I bet you, yeah, I have mad hops, man. I bet you wish you could jump like me. Look at that. Oh, so it, I really like the, the control in this game is actually pretty good. Except that little slide you do when you're running. That little momentum thing that games felt like they needed to do. This mill's well made. Wonder who thought up how to grind a wheel to just crush the grain. That's just hugely inventive. It's almost like they made a wheel or something. Getting this weird feeling. Yeah, nah, it's just really weird. You lay off the crystal blue, man. Take it easy for a couple days. Let's fuck with the machine. Is this a switch? Ha! Ah, I've turned off your mill. What say you to technology now? Darn it! Who's responsible? I don't know. What? Talking... Talking pumpkin? Are you shitting me? Demon! Is it harmful to microbes? Yeah, what the... Everyone's freaking out about this crystal blue. The Magi Shop. Holy shit. We have cultists already. Can I become a cultist too? Alright. I'm looking. I, I just see like the normal, like, soapy bubble reflections. I'm sorry, I, I don't see anything special. <sighs> Everyone on this town, this town's just way too high off the crystal blue. What? An S-bulb? Um, an M-bulb? A peak here, and a hex rod. The hex rod actually sounds semi-useful. But I have no money. I don't think. Do I have money? Um... I don't think I have money. There's no... I can't find a way to open a menu. Uh, maybe later when I can actually fight things. What say you, fisherman? Do you have advice? Not even a nipple. What are you, from Pokemon? Oh my god, people are actually trying to get into the dungeon. It's not locked, but... This blue door... It might have something to do with the crystal blue persuasion. Hell yeah! That sounds right up my alley! Let's do it. We should probably uncover whatever monstrosities the Elder is doing in there. What? Okay... No, I'm just trying to figure out how to open the door. Mm, push it! Oh wow, they, they literally wanted me to just like sit there and push it. Classic Soul Blazer logic. Come on, push! Can't get it to budge. Stuck! Um, you know what, I'm just gonna loot his treasure chests, honestly. One of them probably has a key. Come on, just op open the chest. No, open the Come on, he's not around. He's not going to tell me off now. Come on, Ark. Come on, bro. I guess I'll just keep pushing the door. Okay, keep pushing. Alright, well, I'm just guessing I have to leave. Um. Let's rest the chickens. It's a chicken chaser! God damn it. Oh, I can also double tap to run. It's kinda nice. Uh, 